Hey Cancer, let's see what's coming your way for the month of May. So first we have the transgression card. Flaws, contradictions, and mistake. Okay, we also have the Ace of Pentacles reverse, we have the Six of Cups reverse, and we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, let me just get one more card with this. Yeah. We're forgiving ourselves, Cancer, this month. Um, but also, it might be forgiving someone, however... D hear me out okay so we have transgression which means someone made a mistake here right either you fucked up or someone else fucked up when it came to you we lost something because of that situation this past situation is coming back and it is gonna rear its head because it needs to be dealt with it needs to be either put to rest or healed if if the person doesn't come back it may be you've already been thinking about this past situation or past person because there's a release that is needed, okay? Literally, one of the other cards here is madness, ecstatic ritual, and energy release. Now, we also have the Ten of Wands here in reverse, which is an unburdening of something. Whatever this is, you've been holding on to this for too long, and you do need to say something about it, or you do need to release it. You do need to no longer hang on to this energetic burden. So some examples of what you can do in this case is, um, let's say someone fucked with you and like they really hurt you. You could try standing up to them, you know? So for some people that's gonna be filing a case. I'm not a lawyer. Gosh, I'm not giving you legal advice here. Go ask a lawyer about that. But it could be like that, filing a case about a situation. It could be burning something that they owned, you know? So let's say, oh, your person, like, cheated on you and then left you. And then it's like you, you're burning their stuff, right? So that's just an example. Like, I see you doing some form of a ritual or something to release. Now, I'm even seeing dancing as a form of um, therapeutic release. And I also see, um, so I believe it's called somatic therapy, um, look into it. I'm not going <laughs> to explain it. Um, but the point is I see someone or I also just heard acu acupuncture. So I feel like someone here is going through many different ways to release burden burdens or clogged stuck energy. And it's time. And that's a good thing. Okay. It's Oh, I'm also hearing, and I'm not necessarily advertising this, right? Unless you're really with people that you trust and practitioners you trust. But I'm even hearing like plant ceremonies. So things like ayahuasca, stuff like that. Again, I would only go to people who are, who I can trust essentially and are part of the tradition, I would say. Going back, all right? Now, I just feel here that it's time to release something, cancer. And the moment that you do this, it's going to be this lightening of a feather, okay? So if you look at this card, the Ten of Wands, right? She's carrying all these sticks. What a relief it would be to just drop them all. And that's what I'm seeing. Now, I feel that whatever this is, maybe this is an internal thing. Maybe this release that I'm picking up on is an internal thing. And you've just been like, whatever. <laughs> and you went through this internal change of like, let the chips fall where they may. I'm just going to go do whatever I want and live a good, happy life. Something here is changing and it's for the better. Um, so I'm even hearing someone being like, you know what? Uh, this job fucking sucks and I don't really want to get another job yet. I'm going to quit. I'm going to go just, you know, move in, move back in with my parents and I'm just going to vibe for a little bit and figure my shit out and just release this energy. Someone's going through this moment. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that you should or have to... Um, go through this i think that would depend on every single scenario what i will what i do see here is that yes it does look like this release is needed because it feels like we can't think straight or see a straightened path until we let this go okay i also feel that like i said earlier you might have to forgive yourself and let go of past transgressions so if you had a plan and you were like, oh, yeah, by the time I reach this age, I got to do this. I got to be a billionaire or whatever. Da, da, da. Like you might have to not necessarily let it go, but more so forgive yourself for not achieving it. And then focus on how you can get as close to it as possible 
from here on out. Almost like we just need a clean slate by dropping everything we have now and then picking up the most important priorities for now. That's what you're being told. It's not that you shouldn't do anything. It's that sometimes things get to be too much. They're bubbling. I'm getting so hot, actually, like as I'm talking to you. And it's probably just my lights, but I'm going to take that as a sign as well. It's quite literally getting hotter by the second right now. Um, and it's like, that's what I feel is going on with you. Like it's bubbling up. Everything is too much. Sometimes you just need to be able to drop everything, right? To pick back up the most important things and then start proceeding moving forward with as little weight as possible. So that's what I see. Start from scratch and go from the basics as to how to resolve this situation. Now I'm also seeing here Six of Cups, yeah, it could just be that, like I said, someone from the past is coming back. Not necessarily romantic. Everybody always thinks it's an ex. It could literally be someone you knew from high school. And it, they may not be significant to your life, but it's like they trigger a memory that was super important to you. And it could also be an ex. Now, the Ace of Pentacles here, I'll be honest, I feel like there's an opportunity that doesn't exactly go your way. But I think you were kind of saved from that. So Ace of Pentacles, it's like you were really waiting for this new beginning or you really wanted it. But I think if this had gone through, it's like an unburdening. If this had gone through, this would be you. You would be like overwhelmed with whatever that situation, position or opportunity would have given you or had to offer. OK, something like it wouldn't have exactly fit your schedule. It wasn't the right time. Literally a clock here. And I love the, the calendar here. It says what the fuck. I mean, it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but basically that too. So something about it is like it would have cost more than what it said it would earn you. So I'm not saying that this opportunity is dead, but I'm saying either this opportunity needs to change to be better or there's a better opportunity for you out there. So just don't give up. OK, all right. If you like this, make sure you book a reading with me. Everything you need, you need is in my description box below and I will see you next month. OK. Bye.